Ever wondered how to host multiple applications on your Linode server? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. My name is James Hugh Quick, and I run a YouTube channel called James Hugh Quick. And recently we published a video on that channel about deploying a Discord bot to Linode. Now I run a Discord server called Learn, Build, Teach. So we took the source code for that, we created a server in Linode, and then we deployed that code out and started it and ran it so that it could live on Linode. But what if you wanna have multiple Discord bots or what if you wanna run multiple applications where well, you can do just that with a $5 box on Linode? So let's check out how. All right, so as we get started, I wanna make sure that you know that in the link below, you'll have a $100 credit that you can use for hosting on Linode. So make sure to take advantage of that. And as we go through this video, you'll see how many things you can actually do on one given server that you have. So we mentioned that this is a Discord bot that we're deploying. Again, the part one video you'll have a link to on my channel, but this bot is for the Learn, Build, Teach Discord, and you'll have a link to the GitHub repository as well. So you can go and look through all this code to see how it's built. That's not really the most important part here, but you can go through and look if you want. Now, what we wanna focus on is we've already got a Linode box or server created, and this is built with the mean template, which means it has Node and Mongo already installed. So what I wanna do is I wanna copy this SSH access, and I wanna scroll over to my terminal and SSH into that server. So let me set up or add the password here, and I'm added to the server. And I wanna look into what directories do we have, code directory, I wanna CD to my code directory. And now that I'm inside of my code directory, what folders do I have here where I have the learn, build, teach discord bot? Now what this is, is the source code that we cloned down from GitHub, and then we added the environment variables and can run it from there. So what we wanna do is make a copy of this bot that we can run as a second one. So let's make a copy of this source code. We can do a copy command, and we can say, uh, add the dash R flag because we wanna copy everything inside of this directory. We wanna copy the learn, build, teach discord directory. And we wanna copy that to a new directory called LB2. So we're just making a copy of this folder. So now if we do an LS inside of here, we'll see we have two folders, the learn, build, teach discord bot full one, and then LB2, which is the new one. So what I wanna do is go ahead and run the actual discord bot that's inside of the learn, build, teach discord. So what we should do is CD into that directory, into the learn, build, teach discord bot, and then let's do an NPM run start. Now this bot is ru running in test mode, as you can see here. And what that means is this will only register messages that come in the test channel. So if I send a message inside of my test channel, inside of discord, you can see that thing will log out over here. So you see that message come through and I can send another one. Here's another message and we'll see that thing populate on the right as well. So that bot is up and running and it's running on port 3001. That will become important here in a second. So the other thing we need to do is CD into, well actually we need to SSH into the server on the second tab. So let's go ahead, ahead and do that. And then we'll CD into the code directory. And then from here, let's CD into the LB2. Now what I wanna change is one of the configurations in the second bot so that it's not running in test mode, it's actually running in its full mode. So that property comes from an environment variable that's listed in the .env file. So what I'm going to do is go into the .env file in the lbt-2 folder and update that environment variable to set it to be false, that it's not running in test mode, and we'll see the difference here in a second. So let me do that, and I'll come back in a second. All right, so that should now be updated, and we can start to run this second bot with the same npm run start command, but we'll see there's gonna be an issue here. So if we start this up, you'll see that this one is trying to run on port 3001, but that port is already taken. Now, the problem is that this Discord bot also runs an express server. So it's trying to start the express server on a default port that's set on the environment or a default of 3000. Now, 3001 seems to be set inside of this server. So both of them are trying to run at 3001. And what we want to do is tell the second bot to run at a different port. And I found this article from Twilio that shows you how in the command line, when you run this application, you can specify your environment variables like the port. So what we'll do, let's clear this out and give ourselves some space. We'll say that port is 3002, and then we'll run our command, npm run start. All right, so this is gonna specify this application should run at port 3002, and it should not run in test mode. 
So notice when this thing started, we don't see the running in test mode. So it's got a different configuration out here. It's still registering for the same type of commands. And what should happen is this bot on the right, which is not running in test, should listen and respond to all messages that come in from Discord. The one on the left will only listen for messages that come from the test channel. So if I send here's another test message from the test channel, you'll see it shows up in both. We've got both of these bots running at the same time. And then if I go into a different channel and I send another message, this is a real, real message. Notice that that message gets picked up on the right in that instance of the bot, but it doesn't get picked up in the left one because it's ignoring messages that don't come from the test channel. So these are two different Discord bots running on the same machine, but running with different configurations. And I think this is really cool to show because this still comes from one server in Linode. So this means, especially with the discount that you have and the link in the description below, you'll get a hundred dollar credit that you can use to run as much as you want inside of Linode. And this means that if you do a $5 server on Linode, you can run that for several months, run as many applications as you want on it and be good to go and not have to pay an additional $5 a month for every single application that you want. So I think this is a really great use case to show you, you have full control over these servers. You can run whatever you want, whatever makes sense for you. Just keep an eye out for your performance and things like that to make sure that they still make sense. So hopefully this was a good example of how to run multiple applications on your Linode server. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, curious, what kind of applications are you going to run on your Linode server? Let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, thanks for checking out the video. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you next time.